get his, his Super Bowl ring. He's wearing it for you guys. Finally, a finalist. At home in Homer Glen, Steve McMichael learns he could see himself in the Hall of Fame. He's going to get in and then he can die in peace. His wife, Misty McMichael, acts as his voice now. The announcement comes three years after his ALS diagnosis and only a few weeks after he was in the ICU with pneumonia and sepsis, a battle he's still fighting today. McMichael shared when they finally got the call. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Oh my God, you don't know how long we've been waiting for this. Linebacker Randy Gratishar and wide receiver Art Powell are also finalists. Up to three seniors can be elected into this category. The vote comes in January before the Super Bowl. If McMichael makes it to the Hall of Fame, his wife says she will do anything to physically get him to Canton, Ohio, including chartering a medical airplane and wheeling her husband on stage. This will be the first time that a gold jacket gets cut up the back so somebody can put it on. It's not a burden when you love somebody, but it just, you just want to do everything you can for them. And um, I think this is the best thing that I can do for him. No matter what, she says this has given their family another mission, something else besides ALS to hold on to. He's been the biggest blessing in my life. You know, we've been married 22 years together, 25, that's like my whole life. And I don't know what I'm going to do without him, but I'm going to be able to get through it knowing that I did my best. I did my best for him. It is, of course, here where McMichael spent most of his career with the Bears. If he is elected, there will be a special caravan to Canton in honor of Mongo next August, filled with friends and family. Now, each of these finalists will need 80% of the votes from the selection committee in order to make the Hall of Fame. Reporting at Soldier Field, I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News.